In this video, we're going to take a look at using styled components in the context of our React applications. So we can start off by running npm install styled-components. I've already created a React application with create React app, and I suggest that you do the same. After that, we can open this up inside of our editor. And I will head over to app.js and I'm going to remove the logo and CSS for now and also everything inside of our render function. So we simply just have this return. The first thing that we'll do is import styled from styled components. And outside of our class, we can go ahead and create ourselves a component. A component is simply a function. And as you can see right here, if we created a title component, such as const title, we could say that that is equal to styled.h1. And if we take a look here, before we select the h1, we have everything from a to p, h2, h3, and so on everything that you would expect. After that, what I want you to do is actually select this backtick. So instead of doing some parentheses, use the backtick instead, and in here we can pass a variety of parameters. Everything inside of here will be CSS, and the first parameter will be the color of blue. We'll also change the font size of our title to be 100 pixels. We can then go ahead and render our title inside of the render function. And I'll place this inside of a div for now. And inside of the div, we will add our title component. Our title will simply say my styled title. If we go ahead and run our application in the browser with npm start, you can see that we get this my style title. It was just that simple to create a styled component that gave us a blue h1 with the font size of 100. If we wanted to go ahead and create another styled component, for example, if we made a const underlined paragraph, that could be equal to a styled.p with a similar template tag. This time we could have a color of pale violet red and the text decoration of underline. If we added this inside of our div underneath our title, so we added underlined paragraph, we could say my underlined paragraph. All we now need to do is save this and our styled component will appear underneath the title. As you can see, we now have my underlined paragraph underneath the title. So integrating styled components inside of our React applications is super simple and it's not necessarily restricted to React. So you can use this in whatever framework or even non-framework that you wish. And you can see that it makes it super easy to add CSS inside of our JavaScript. I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more videos. And of course, check out paulhalliday.io for more courses, free videos, and more.